Okay, don't know what popped up my screen there. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Today, myself and Keen, we're going to speak about Stephen Kenny's first Irish squad that he's named. For Bulgaria and Finland, those uh, Nations League fixtures are coming up. Uh, Keen, was the squad as expected for you? I mean, a lot of people thought, seemed to think, to be a load of young players in it. Personally, I didn't, um, because I think you need to keep the core what's there and add in players generally. Is it a surprise to you, or are there any surprises in the uh, squad? For first of all, I just want to say how proud I am to be a League of Ireland fan, to Which see Stephen at Every game, at least, well, most games, and anyway, he's at. Uh, I say he's nearly had to be at every ground. Uh, I even seen him at an underage game yesterday, and you know, it's just it's fantastic to see. Uh, like that's your national manager, and he's shown an interest in that league. Look, people are disappointed saying there's no League of Ireland players in a force of all. Listen, this is the top job in Ireland. We're coming up on to see the likes of Stephen at games and showing an interest and look, people like disappointed saying that there's no League of Ireland players in it. Like I think people expect it probably two or three at least uh in the side. But look, we're playing two massive games. We need to get to the Euros here. In my opinion, I think he's gone with a squad that can get us there. No doubt. I think he's gone with the experience to get us there. And I think he's gone. He has gone for the. He has gone for let's say the right type of players. This isn't the time to bring in, let's say, a Jack Bourne. This like, this isn't the time to be bringing in these Irish players, League of Ireland players. I don't think. I think they're times for friendlies, and if he does well, get him in. Look, I know Jack has had a cap and stuff like that, but I just personally think the squad that he's had to pick in there. I think I, I, I have full confidence in him. I think the only player for me, to be honest, that was genuinely in contention was Jack Byrne. I don't think there was any other player in all honesty that was a contention. Oh, I think oh. you would pick Jack Byrne Keen only for he did speak about um the European commitments and that. So I think he's looking at that from the Irish club's perspective as well. Like he's probably thinking I'm not gonna start Jack Byrne. I wouldn't mind having him in the squad, but look, I'm going to leave him play with Shamrock Rovers, the European commitments, etc., etc. Yeah, but you look as well. I think Stephen needs to look after himself as well. Uh, I don't think that would probably be an issue. I thought, I thought the issue is like he he doesn't deserve to be there on recent merit. Like, uh, like as well, you have to remember we're only back. League of Ireland's only back. These have played, do you know what I mean? These have played in the Premier League and Championship and stuff like that all the way through. So I just think, and it's not that he hasn't been at games, it's not like this, it's not this conversation where managers are, are, are people in Ireland are saying, sure, he's never at the games to see Jack Bourne, he's never at the games, he's at every game now. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, in my opinion, he just didn't feel it was right. And look, that's Stephen has got a right. Since Dundalk and even before that, he's instant success nearly in a lot of places. And I full back in with the squad that he's gone for. It's an exciting squad. Uh, the experience, like I says, look, it's, oh, I'm gone buzzing for it now. Yeah, for me, the defence kind of picks itself anyway. I think you've got Duffy, you've got Egan, you've got the likes of Matt Doherty, Coleman, and then the Stevens. That's a pretty solid defence. I think that's where Ireland's strengths are. And Randolph has been a good international goalkeeper. There's yeah, no look, the, the back four speaks for itself. Uh, whether Doherty goes in over Coleman, stuff like that. There's uh, five keen as well with Coleman as a uh, right-hand side centre-back. Yeah. With the two so he could do that as well with Stevens and Doherty possibly. The option is there, which is good too. I don't know if he'll look to do that. He likes a 4-3-3 generally. Yeah, um, yeah. I just think uh, I, I just think we're playing to our strengths. Yeah. Like we are. We have to. We c let's be real here. I know Stephen wants to play this fantastic football. Let's be real. We're going up against two top quality teams uh, who have found some fantastic players. Like It's like without disrespecting anyone in the side, 
I don't think we have a star. Do you know what I mean? Certainly not yet. I think we do have young players with the potential. Like Jason Malumphy, I've seen him play at under-21 level for Ireland. Have you seen him play? Yeah, actually? yeah. No, look, we, there's no doubt we have fantastic players. Yeah, we have yeah. some really up-and-coming players that I'm excited by seeing. But every time we seem to play a team, they, they have a, let's say, a Perisic. They have a Modric. No, they have like... The a world class ready made star, so we, we don't have that at our disposal. We go up against the, uh, we go up against teams and stuff, like we can't go toe to toe. Stephen will eventually go toe to toe, but at the start, I think we just need that cautious approach. Look, we need to, like I'm delighted now that it's kind of the nations league before we go, going how into the Euros, uh. Like it gives them two, two games. But I'm looking at him saying, I'm I'm happy with the squad he's picked. I'm happy he didn't give like anyone a real chance. If you know what I mean, like an opportunity. Or by picking half of the under twenty one squad, like people seem to think he would, which was bizarre. He, kinda, he went he he went safe, and what, no, I don't mean safe. I mean he's picked players that weren't there and players that deserve it. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people were saying about Dara, we were speaking about the back line there. Uh, yeah. Oh, not Dara. Uh, we'll cut that bit out. What's yeah, it? Shea. Dara Shea, is it? It is Dara O'Shea, yeah. Leave that in. <laughs> right. No, go yeah, on with no, that. Uh, no, that people, people are obviously saying Dara O'Shea. Look, there's no question he's a fantastic player. Uh, what he's doing at West Brom now, and I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Premier League mix it up. But, He's got player of the year and stuff like that, but it's not a time to be bringing these players in. It's really not. Uh, we look friendlies will come, and these like Dara is good enough. Dara will be an Irish international. I think it's only Martin the time. Uh, but Sorry. that's for me in the back line. That's the only player that you could have said, like possibly in, yeah, possibly in. But at the same time, why bring him and sit him on the bench? Like I think. Yeah. I'd rather have, let's say, uh, you know, yeah, the likes of a Callum Robinson or the likes of somebody up the other end of the pitch mm. with an extra spot that can come on with that little bit of spark. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, the Dara Shea one, it's a debatable one, but it's not one that should be outrageous because he left them out because, as we say, the defence is set as it is. So he's yeah. likely not to be starting. Um the one I suppose that people are a little bit disappointed maybe is Michael Obafeni. But for me, Obafeni has had a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries. I think he just needs to start playing and get some games That's, and try and get some goals. Like Shane Long, I definitely pick Shane Long ahead of him at this minute in time. Um, That's the only one now I think. The only thing I could say from my end is Troy Perry. Yeah. Uh, look, Troy is. Troy is a fantastic talent or stuff like that. But I think Alba Femi has that bit of edge on him for experience. And um, when I say experience, these lads are only 17, 18, 19 years of age. Uh, like, but like Alba Femi has started an awful lot of games for Southampton. Look, I know Troy is a, a much better club in sports. Now he's gone out to Millwall, which he'd probably do. You're hoping he does well. Uh, like all the hype has been built up. You just hope that he does well, and fingers crossed for him, that he does do well. But I think that's that's really the only argument I think anyone could really have. Yeah, I think the midfield is interesting as well, because he has uh, he's brought Harry Arthur back in, which is interesting. Um, he's Hendrick, and Conor Hurrahan, who I think is a level above those in terms of a footballer. But it'd be interesting for me to see if he plays Malumphy, actually, because I'm not sure. The way Stephen tries to play, Hendrick and Arthur... I don't really know at this stage of their career would be able to play in the style that Stephen wants, let's say. Yeah, look, I think... I, I do think, though, Harry Arda and Jeff Hendrick deserve to be in the squad. I think oh. uh, I think Harry had a fantastic end into the season, scored a scream on the playoffs and stuff like that as well. I think uh, it's good to see Harry back. I hope he gets a run of games for us. The same with James McCarthy. I thought he's had a... He's had a good season with uh, he's had a good season with Palace. 
And, you know, it's it's good to see these players in the squad. Malumbi is a fantastic talent. They look so and talent. I think he's probably our most prized possession as such as coming up, up and coming. Him and Troy Parra, really, I think, are the two where I see Malumbi play. He's, he plays like, he plays with so much ills and confidence. And Let's play like a, an Irish player in inverted commons. Yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, technique and his... He just has awareness of what to do in a pitch. Yeah, look, I think he's, I think he's up there where uh, some of the best players like the likes of the OS Hooligans. He's a player like that, you know, that likes to get into the pockets and pick up the ball. You know, I think Jason would be very good. Uh, do I think he'd start now? I don't think he's going to start. I think he'll come on for a little cameo towards the end of one of the games and just give him a round of applause. For well done, thanks very much. Uh, that's what I think it is, honestly. Uh, uh, Robbie Brady in the side, yeah, look, I think he obviously hasn't been getting a lot of game time. Uh, he hasn't. I, I think he was hardly getting into bonus. Burnley, Burnley, yeah. No, it's be Jack Hendrick. I might, I might add his move to Newcastle today, funnily enough, as well. So that's yeah, a look, that's a, that's a good move for Jeff. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think, I know, I know Burnley are higher in the league, I think, than... Uh, Newcastle, like they'd be, they be nearly on par with them, but I just think Newcastle is a much bigger club, and you know, there's no comparison really. I think it's a great move for Jeff. Definitely, 100%. Yeah, that James McCarthy point you made earlier, I actually forgot about him in many ways, and you'd be forgiven because uh, he's had serious injuries the last few years. I always thought he was um, a level above some of our midfielders. He's played very well, like you said, with Palace, and that's brilliant for him and brilliant for Kenny. Because if you can get him even 80% to the way he was, in my view, because I was thought he was a little underrated in the Irish midfield. He used to get a lot of... I thought he got unfair criticism a lot of the time. He's a decent footballer. Yeah, he wasn't Andrea Pirlo, but, I mean, come on, like, you know. Uh, yeah, good players I, footballer. I, I do. I think, I think our midfield is going to be made up with Hurahan, Jeff Hendrick and McCarthy. Party, yeah. I think th- I think that's going to be a trick. Now look, I think I need can go in there and do a job. Uh, now Alan Brown, he's yeah. he, he's had it. He's had it. I know Preston fell off towards the end of the season, but he's the captain. He's played there, and you know he, he knows he knows the stuff. Another player uh, who could definitely make a start, and he has done well when he's played. I know he's only had a couple of caps, but I think he scored one now as well. Uh, didn't he? Yeah, he's he scored a he scored a friendly yeah. towards the end, yeah. But uh, no, I think the only argument you can really have is the Troy Para for Obafemi, maybe. But uh, I just I don't really I know he's probably frustrated. I know he's only a young lad, but coming out on Twitter like that on a manager's force announcement is not the brightest thing to do. Uh, especially Stephen yeah, Kenny. Like we've all heard about Stephen Kenny's ice cream story with Key Ward, have we? Yeah. You know, look, and, you know, and I think uh, I found that funny. You now that was great, but I think uh, I just think I wasn't a it wasn't the smartest thing to do because he has a future. I think he would be in the side. I think, like you look at McGoldrick, who was who has had probably he's probably our best striker on paper at the minute. Uh, he doesn't score a lot of goals, but. Whatever he doesn't score, he creates. He's up. Yeah, exactly. He's good licking up, holding up the ball. He doesn't score many, as you say. But the striker one is an interesting one because it depends what Kenny's looking for. Because, you know, Shane Long is a player, probably doesn't score enough either, if I'm honest with you. But yeah. he runs the channels very well. So he's a little bit different to McGoldrick. And Adam Ida is a player I have uh, a lot of time for, but he's a bit raw. So he won't start like as such. No, but McGoldrick, think, yeah. McGoldrick and Shane Long, whatever Kenny wants, whether he wants a target man as such. Or a guy who can run the channels, or you know, I like, I like Alan Robinson. <coughs> yeah, I he's think, more, uh, of, more on the right, though. I think. Yeah, no, no, I don't think he play up front. No, no, he, no. he won't play through the middle. But I like Alan Robinson. I think he's uh, he's that little bit of spark, that little bit of energy, and I just think, yeah, he could, uh, he can light up something. He can pull something out of nothing. And I think him and let's say McLean as well, who's had a great season. Uh, well, a great end to the season, I think, uh, I would say. But, look, he, people, he gets a lot of criticism, James. Uh, you know, You're talking about on or off the field? <laughs> I think he gets a bit, he gets, look, every time he puts that Irish shoes on, he doesn't matter, he can have an awful game. 
but he'll try and he, you know, stick stick a hundred quid on him to get a yellow card, he'd be all right. <laughs> oh, but you, you, yeah, let's be honest, I think he knows himself. His technique often lets him down, yeah. but by God, does he work like tracking like, back, helping I, his full back, getting tackles in. Um, no, I mean, you have to respect James McLean. Look, I, mean. I look, I look, I'm looking at Stephen Kenny's done dark side. Mm. And I'm looking at the order side. I'm trying to pick out players and stuff like that, and trying to see who's similar in styles. Yeah. Or I think uh, John Mountney would be nearly similar to, let's say, James McLean. Yeah. Probably doesn't have that. He probably doesn't have the, let's say, the best technique, but the, the stuff like the track and back, the recovery run, stuff like that. You know, and that's that's. That's a player that played for Dundalk all the time. Now, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. We don't know what way he's going to line up. Uh, I think Rory Higgins is a big, big member of that staff. Uh, I've seen him at games with Stephen all the time. I've uh, seen him in Richmond talking outside for an hour after the game and everything. I just think he's a fantastic appointment uh, to have. And look, he's a, he's a person that Dundalk rated very highly. And now Stephen Kenny has him with the order set up. So. Yeah, absolutely. Look, before we go, Keane, we must say that I think that, you know, people need to give Kenny time as well and not be panicking and thinking they're not playing like Brazil in the first few games. Like, he, he needs to, the man needs time. He needs to be backed. Look, our squad isn't fantastic as it is, no matter who the manager is, in the greater scheme of things, if you get yeah. me. So, people need just to kind of reel it in a little bit, give him a chance. And, you know, I've seen a bit of talk about. Oh, you know, he's an Irish League manager. What has he achieved? What did Steve Staunton achieve as a manager when he was given the job? You know, I'm not criticizing. Don't go there. Don't go there. You set me off. <laughs> you know, you, you know, can bring in big name ex internationals who haven't managed before, haven't achieved. Kenny has achieved things in Europe. He's beat battered Borislav 3 0 with Dundalk. Now, think about that for a second. Well, you think, know, uh, they've played, Chelsea, they've played yeah. Roma in Champions Leagues and got decent results against teams like that. You know what I mean? It's just... I think uh, one, John, Sheridan, the thing. John Sheridan should be in with a show for the job. Oh. <laughs> 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 lad, I think uh, that's the, we leave it there definitely on that bombshell as someone used to say on Top Gear, wasn't it? Like, subscribe <laughs> and, uh, and hit your bell and notification button and we'll see you again. Bye. <laughs> Oh,